Leftover space debris from a Chinese rocket is on a collision course with the moon, which opens a larger conversation about the re increasingly relevant problem of space junk. The moon is about to get smashed by a giant piece of space junk. A leftover rocket will slam into the far side of the moon on Friday, March 4th. Although it may take weeks, even months, to confirm the impact through satellite images. It's a pretty decent impact, but really nothing to worry about. Uh, NASA did a mission before where they intentionally hit a rocket onto the moon and got the plume off the moon to study if there was water, and they actually did find, find that out. So they've done this before. This is the first unintentional one. Upon impact, the object will carve out a crater on the moon that could fit several semi-tractor trailers. Experts believe it's from a 2014 Chinese launch, which highlights the increasing problem with space junk as more nations begin to explore space. Think again, 50, 100 years from now, we have moon bases, right? And <laughs> you don't want debris coming in to the moon, right? We don't want to take the problem we have right now, Earth, to the moon, and then the Mars 200 years from now, right? We, we, we have to think that far ahead in, in terms of this stuff. We're not at a huge problem right now, but if we don't do anything in the next decade, couple decades, I think it's going to get a lot worse. Certainly in 50 years, if we don't do something, it's going to be a huge problem. KMI is an Upper Peninsula-based company that's also concerned with space junk. Adam Call, their Director of Technology, explained to us why. KMI is a space debris research and solution development company, which is a lot of words to say we look at the problem of space debris, objects orbiting in space that are rubbish and trash from decades past, and look at how we can remove them from space so they stop posing a problem to active satellites. This is important. We really want a future in space, and it starts by cleaning up our backyard from all the practice runs and the practice launches we've done up until this point and say, all right, we want to have an established presence. It needs a clean slate. Let's clean up the debris and give ourselves that. If a problem is doubling every year, then when it's halfway to disaster, you have one year left. Yeah. So it's so it's time is of the essence. And we're really looking at, rather than having a two-year development cycle of figuring out some new, unique, brand new solution that might be 10% better, let's take what is currently available and currently already validated and apply it now. With ABC 10 CW5 News, I'm Tony Drew.